these white ones, is there underneath an interlaced web of color in the same way that there is? Yeah. In these, and that you that you removed later. I'm not a painter, so when I look at a blank canvas, I just don't know where to start at all. But I feel like all of your color choices are just, they seem just totally right, you know? Mm -hmm. And But also like the sort of thing that you could never plan. So I'm just wondering about how do you actually go about starting the painting? The thing about the, especially these first two, is that in retrospect, I, and I have some photos of their in-between stages, I really did several more of these paintings and covered them up because I didn't want, I couldn't handle them. The space that I had on Division Street had storefront windows. People were walking by all the time seeing what I was working on and I would always have the curtains open if I wasn't there. One person that lived in that neighborhood that checked in with me routinely like he still was like, you could have had a hundred paintings during those four years if you would have been willing to not self-edit so much. And I think he's right. And I'm glad I took the photographs because I can see now that they were really great paintings and that it was almost a disservice to myself to cover them up, but I just, I was learning, you know, about how to accept myself. And I learned a lot about mixing color and how to handle a larger range of stuff because of doing that over and over again. What's sad about it is that I don't have them to share or as part of my portfolio, so there's like this lost year or two. The other thing is, is that just like with money where I, I ask for guidance or try to sit and meditate and get a sense of something, I mean, you all probably have done it to some level. You've had that horrible breakup coming up or whatever, and you go for a walk or you go to the park and you just like, I have no idea where I'm gonna go to college or, and you just know, like when you hit that, like that's how I make these paintings and it's how I mix my colors. I'll go in and I have a like nice emery glass palette that somebody dumpstered for me somewhere. And I mix my colors up based on how I feel. So. If there's a lot of red in my palette that day, it's because, you know, I'm connecting with that redness in my body or blue. And then the same with the painting. A lot, a lot of times I don't have a lot of willingness about making my work, and I'll, I'll want to fight about that, or I just, I'm, just, I'm like, I'm too tired to paint, I don't want to do it. And uh, I, because these are so big, and they're like great drums, or, you know, they just, have this way that you can touch them and feel them, um, I'll get kind of ballistic with my painting and like come really through my arms or two hands and if I don't want to do it, I'll just paint about not wanting to paint. And, um, and then I feel so much better. I often have three going at a time, so maybe I went ballistic on that one, but then I can come over and like work on the detail and flesh something out. Once they get about three quarters of the way done, I leave them alone now. I'm like, oh, I can see where I got the composition down, and I feel good about that. And I just work on building them to finish. And I leave my like self-editing and frustration for a blank canvas, or, and just keep trying to move on and not judge myself so much.